That's it. <laughs> Outside, mainly clear skies still. And we are going to be running out of these mainly clear skies as clouds are coming back and eventually some showers. We have 41 mostly clear degrees outside. A light wind out of the southeast at three miles per hour. Not enough to give us a wind chill. It's pretty comfortable this uh, 41 for late March. Now, as we go into tomorrow, the sunshine's moving out. We're going to see those clouds fill into the area, and this is out ahead of a couple of rain chances that take us into the weekend. However, while we are going to give up on the sunshine and bring back the clouds and the rain, we are going to be seeing our temperatures staying on the warm side all the way through Saturday. So we have a nice little stretch of warm weather. We just have some raindrops that we're going to have to maneuver around to enjoy it. Now, you can see some clouds have tried to make their run in here. We had a little layer of high clouds. Those have broken up, and we're going to see more and more of this coming into play, especially as we get closer towards sunrise tomorrow. And back behind it, we find some rain showers trying to move in towards Chicago, uh, southern Wisconsin, and pushing into Michigan, and this is all going to try to make its way towards western Pennsylvania. Now, not everyone's going to get in on the showers tomorrow, but over the next few days, I think everyone's going to be seeing some sort of rain moving in. So the high pressure is moving off to the east. That's allowing all this moisture and warm weather, if you want to look at the bright side of things, to move towards us. So you can see early tomorrow morning, this is 7 a.m., some showers approaching Cleveland. We still have a little time. Those clouds really fill in by lunchtime. And after lunchtime, our rain chances start to tick upward, especially later in the day. And you'll notice most of the rain tomorrow is going to be north of Pittsburgh until we get into the evening. Then some of those showers will try to shift down to the south and linger into early Friday. Those showers move on. Then Saturday, I think the most widespread and the steadiest of the rain is going to move in with a cold front that lifts up, spreads that moisture towards us and has some much cooler air on the other side and the back edge of this precipitation as it arrives in Pittsburgh could come with a little wet snow trying to mix in and it shouldn't cause any issues though. So our chances are for rain start to tick upward, especially tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. So tonight it's the clear skies and then the clouds start to fill in here and we're going to have to take a little break from that sunshine for a while. Tomorrow 64 in Pittsburgh. Most of the temperatures around Allegheny County in the mid 60s. Some spotty rain showers in the afternoon. As you work southward, this is where the rain is going to be more isolated, a more rare occurrence tomorrow. But beyond that, those shower chances go up. Temperatures generally in the mid 60s. Off to the east, again, a hit or miss shower around here. Temperatures low to mid 60s, so mild weather. This is even warmer than what we had today. Same deal up to the north. Some 60s here, but this is where we have the best chance for rain tomorrow. And if you want better chances for rain, let's look to Friday. Let's look to Saturday. That's where those chances ramp up. Temperatures stay in the 60s all the way into the start of the weekend. Falling temperatures on Sunday. We'll clear those skies out, though. Come Monday for the Pirates home opener, 50 degrees. That comes with sunshine. Oh, and remember, you can get the KDKA weather app. This thing has an interactive radar. You can watch those showers come right to your neighborhood. It also has hour-by-hour -hour forecasts, daily forecasts, alerts, and more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store.